guys! And look at the adorable little Lumi. <laughs> Who just realized that she was being filmed. I had to get rid of the water bottle because it was dripping on Lumi's head. But she loves sleeping on this pillow so much that she doesn't really mind. And is okay with having like a big spot of water on her head. Oh Lumi, you look so comfortable! Lumi does this very adorable thing where she moves her ears or her mouth when she's sleeping, um, even if she has her eyes open, but sometimes like her ears just start twitching. <laughs> it's very adorable. She's always lying on like the side of the pillow, so she's never lying in the middle of the pillow. She's always like this, close to the edge of it. It's very adorable. Yeah, Luminum, I'm talking about you. What's up? How's life, Lumi? Tell us about it. <laughs> she's following the camera. Loom Loom, you're just so cute! Okay, I woke you up so I have to give you a peep like, I get that. That seems fair, there you go. <laughs> There's Gatsby, okay everyone gets a peep like though. Gatsby, there you go, and Lulu, there you go. Nugget, do you want a peep like? Nugget! Yes, I said wick wick! Wick wick! <laughs> nugget. A bit confused after waking up. There you go, Nugget. Happy? Okay, let's refill the guinea pig's hay. I'm currently waiting for a new hay delivery. So the guinea pigs have some hay from the pet shop. Um, which actually turns out to be pretty good. Um, before that we got our hay in the supermarket from like the supermarket brand. And this brand really wasn't that good. And now we got it from a farm somewhere. So we bought it in a pet shop but it's like some independent brand. Um, guess we stopped trying to crawl into the packaging and I'm actually really impressed by the quality Lumi is impressed as well like last week my husband was giving them veggies and Lumi didn't even realize that there were veggies because she was so busy eating hay <laughs> and was so happy with her hay that she totally forgot that um, there was other food as well so I'm really impressed with the quality right now and I think that's what we're going to do from now on. Just let's get that hay while we're waiting for the delivery of like the big 15 kilo package. And perhaps also a little update on the situation with the girls in the cage in general. So Gatsby is surprisingly in a good mood. Um, so we had two days of chasing and two days of kind of trouble within the herd. Um, but that stopped. So currently we have a pretty peaceful group and they're all getting along really well and yeah, gets beat <laughs> to emphasize that point. <laughs> um, but yeah, despite like normal um, small bickerings, the guinea pigs are just getting along really great. Um, Gatsby's not really chasing anyone anymore and I feel like um, the guinea pigs have, they're in a good place now herd wise. So just the combination of pigs, their age range, and just everything is working out really well at the moment. We're technically still waiting to hear back from the rescue regarding a neutered boar. So um, as you may know, um, we had a failed introduction and so the boar went back to the rescue and the woman who runs the rescue actually adopted him um, because she took care of him um, after his surgery. So he was neutered at the rescue 
and then um, developed an abscess after the neutering so he stayed there longer than um, male guinea pigs usually stay there after neutering because he not only had to pass the six weeks um, but also it took some time for the abscess to heal um, which developed um, on the wound after surgery. So she fell in love with him while taking care of him. Already in her first email she told me, oh I have this really like pretty boar but if you're not interested I think I'm going to keep him. Um, so it all worked out in the end. Uh, the guinea pigs decided that they didn't really like the dominant boar um, and he ended up being adopted by the woman who runs the rescue. So we are still on a list waiting to hear back from them, um, but this time we just have very specific requirements. So we always got like the girls pretty quickly and then also we got Max pretty quickly, um, but right now we just have very specific requirements. So we need a boar that is either older and experienced or is just very fluffy and big and just very calm in his personality, just like Max was. Obviously, there are not like a ton of guinea pigs that get surrendered that just fit these criteria. So we are still waiting to hear back from them, but right now I'm actually kind of happy that um, we're taking a break from introductions because the girls are just seemingly very happy and things are working out now. But I also know Gatsby and I know the last time it looked like things were working out after um, Gatsby just rolled into the hay rag. Last time it looked like things were working out as well after we had to say goodbye to Sylvester um, and then um, guess we just decided to go in full power mode. <laughs> so we'll see how long things last, but right now things are looking really great. The girls are very peaceful and so I'm kind of happy that we're not getting a call right now for another guinea pig, to be honest. But we're still on the list um, and I've seen quite a few questions. The one was concerning why we wanted a new boar and why we wanted him so quickly. So last time guess was just super overwhelmed with being boss. Um, and couldn't really handle it. She was in overpowering boss mode and was just chasing everyone all the time and that wasn't really good for the herd so everyone in the herd was pretty stressed out but also Gatsby was very stressed out and was actually losing weight while that happened. Um, so this is one of the reasons that we wanted to get a boar. And the other reason is of course that um, guinea pigs live in mixed groups in nature. Um, it's usually one boar and then several females. Um, obviously we don't want any guinea pig babies so we um, get like the keeping your guinea pig at home variant of that which is a neutered boar and several females um, and I really like this combination of guinea pigs and I think it's uh, very natural for them to live like that and also I feel like a male guinea pig really helps keep the calm between all of the girls so if there's any bickering usually the male guinea pig will start rumor strutting and like go in between the girls. Some male guinea pigs are better at being boss than others as well. It's just a matter of personality and character, like everything. But a male guinea pig just has a very calming influence on a group of girls. So I, I really like having a neutered boar and then several females. And the reason why we did it so quickly was we didn't want Gatsby to take over as boss and then have this whole thing disturbed again by adding another guinea pig. So we wanted to like basically introduce a male guinea pig before Gatsby completely takes over because we already had some chasing and like Gatsby was really stressing out Lulu. Um, but currently things are looking really fine. Gatsby really calmed down after that introduction. Um, she's really relaxed. I haven't seen her chase anyone in like the last week. So that this is kind of what's happening right now. We're still waiting um, to hear back from the rescue when they have um, a guinea pig that fits to us. Um, and I trust their opinion that they're um, that they know the personality types of guinea pigs that they have there. But I'm also really happy right now um, that we didn't get a call like this instant, um, so that the girls got some peace and got like to relax after this um, fate introduction. Gatsby's <laughs> just living her best life in the hay rag. <laughs> These were um, like the most common questions that I saw asked under the introduction video, so I thought I'd address them. Gatsby is just a pig with a very strong personality. Someone said they wanted a video all about Lulu, <laughs> where the vlog just mainly focuses on Lulu because Gatsby always steals all of the attention. Or I think it was like Gatsby and I could always steal all of the attention. So <laughs> we can definitely do that at one point, huh Lulu?
You get to be just front and center, I know. Well, that is something that we're going to keep for the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time. Bye! And also here's a special treat just for Lulu.